Why not live with the drive to aspire? My ambition is flawless. This is gorgeous, this is Porsche, but this is about this binge, you did. Pass me the lighter, Rose. I need it. Made back music. I appreciate the opportunity. Something special, man. Class of 2013. Expectations. We all have been put in the position where something is expected of us. Maybe it's getting a certain grade in a class. Maybe it's going to college or getting a certain job. I was expected to be a successful class president, fundraising for our class, utilizing my time to benefit our class, and making financial decisions in the best interest of our class were all but a few of your expectations of me when I was voted into office around this time last year. I had a conversation with my grandfather recently. As a retired man, he has his hobbies and getting involved in politics just so happens to be one. He does have strong political views, but I will never forget what he told me. Nick, when you turn 18, you will be given a great American privilege. The right to vote which I hope you will take advantage of. There is one thing though that I want you to remember. No matter where your views lie, always vote for the best candidate. That is a quote that I will forever appreciate and I hope my fellow classmates can consider it. We have nearly completed the most difficult year of high school. Next year each of you will choose your future, whether you decide to go to college or not. Senior year is supposed to be the most fun and I plan on ensuring that if voted into a second term. I have already looked into senior activities and outing possibilities. I have contacted Six Flags New England and have talked about a day trip to a city like Boston or Manhattan with all our class advisors. Senior prom, senior skip day, and assassins will also be exciting activities for the class of 2013, which I hope you know we will take advantage of. Do not worry though, I do not plan on abandoning fundraising for next year. This year my administration put together three fundraisers which surpassed $1,000 each. Together, my administration and our volunteers have raised about $5,000 for our class. Not to mention, during my term, our class treasury has skyrocketed from less than two grand to $20,000. Why has it increased by so much in one year? Well, class dues play a big part in this. But fundraising is what we needed and what I executed. I don't give money to the bus company. I, don't, I didn't waste our time with fundraisers that broke even. I got our class sponsors such as Ted's IGA, Da Vinci's Pizza, Angie's Pizza, and Bogner's in Manchester, etc. Most importantly, I spent long hours planning and executing each fundraiser which had outstanding results. I personally work hard to make sure that each of our fundraisers and junior class activities were a huge success and I do not plan on changing that energy level for next year, if anything, raising it. <laughs> and still, this year, I have one more little fundraiser in the works I'd like to let you know about. It's selling flowers at the senior graduation. I, I plan to execute it. Next year, instead of the three-on-three -three basketball tournament, I was considering holding what is called a power puff football game in the fall. This would basically be a football game for women, and the guys would do other jobs like cheerleading. I have talked to other high schools in the state which hold this event yearly, and I've heard nothing but the best things. I thought this event would be nice to get different students in the grade involved and since this event has been never been done at RAM before, there would be no conflict of interest. The class officers and I have talked about doing a community tag sale, which I would like to accomplish. If voted into office, I will be holding the maple pork, pulled pork stand again at the Maple Fest in Hebron, as it was a huge success and put our class's name in the community in the community and that's what I like. On top of that I have secured us Mr. Ram for the next year which will be sure to excite. But what is phase two? It's a reason. 
It's another year and opportunity to progress our class financially and have fun. It means continuing my success from this year and not risking the placement of another class president. Make sure to tweet my campaign team at Vote Nick Phase 2 and tell us what hashtag Phase 2 means to you. And uh, speaking of what Phase 2 means to my classmates, let me call one down from the audience right now. Uh, uh, how about you in the baby blue shirt? Come on down. Give him a round of applause, everyone. What does phase two mean to you, young man? I think it's going to raise a lot of money for our class in an organized manner, and we are going to get things done, unlike previous classes before. And this is our senior year. It has to be our most important time to raise all the money. Make sure to tweet my, my campaign team at Vote Nick Phase 2. And tell us what hashtag Phase 2 means to you. Make the, this election about our class, not a college resume. And please vote for me. Nick Colantonio for class of 2013 president. I look forward to hopefully seeing you all next year in this position. Oh crap, I look at the time. I gotta get to an important business meeting. Happy Memorial Day. Oh, thank you for your time. <laughs>